I feel the need to speak to some comments that have been made, and it comes within this context. We heard about liabilities adding up. And we heard about the fact that we hire good experts. Uh, and we've, we've heard many uh, valuable comments around trust. And frankly, I think we need to talk about accountability. Because now that something has come off the table, the dollars are still spent for $17 million. And so I think we need to address that issue and that helps the trust. If we were a corporate board, our shareholders would be looking for something, I'll tell you. Uh, so we need to think, how are we going to deal with this? How do we uh, address the accountability? How do we make this not happen again? And someone mentioned the fact that Harrow Woods, we purchased it outright and that changed considerably. We've done the same thing with Viewfield and now this has changed considerably. We can't spend public money in this fashion. It's, it's not appropriate. And so, Chair, I leave those comments with you because uh, we as a board, you as the chair, um, I, I, I value your, your guidance in this as to how we're going to deal with that accountability. And I look forward to that coming to us in some manner uh, very soon. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Director Dejan. I, I don't mean to put uh, uh, Mr. Lapham on the spot, but um, um, if we're talking in terms of accountability, clearly or I, I, I presume that that implies that um, there's concerns around the value of the property versus what we paid for it because uh, um, otherwise we, we could say we have an asset on the books, a $17 million asset which we purchased. And so presumably if there are questions, it's because of concerns around the value of that asset. And I would just like to ask Mr. Lapham to comment on, on how we arrived at that valuation. Um, and I realize that uh, that may not satisfy all your concerns, but it, it, it at least will inform the discussion as to the, the asset that we feel we have on the books at this point. Sure, Mr. Chairman, and uh, the board will recall that we uh, retain an independent appraisal uh, by a, a qualified uh, professional, as well as uh, uh, professional services from the real estate industry to make that acquisition, and the valuation was based on market value, uh, market value being the, the most likely value that will be achieved if you put that property back for sale in the open market. So uh, that's, that's the definition of market value with an appraisal approach and the CRD uses appraisals to uh, justify the purchases it makes of land. Uh, we will bring back a report uh, providing options to the board in terms of how to proceed with uh, the land. Uh, we, we don't have direction yet in terms of uh, what, we'll, what we'll take forward on that. Uh, obviously the core area um, participants uh, hold that land in trust with the CRD as the owner and so we'll bring back that report to the committee providing details on uh, the implications. Okay, thank you Mr. Lappin. Um I'm going to call the question on the motion. All in favor? Opposed? Motion is carried. Thank you.